Our stop in Sioux Falls sits at a pivotal time in the season. The pressure will only continue to mount, and the consequences are real. We've got a new leader, and then some. Krimber throwing a little birthday cake in there. Our world number one is now 0 for 2 this weekend. Castle and Krimber have kicked the door wide open. There's your eight, and Pacheco loves it. There it is. Tiago ends up on top in Idaho. Salgado's epic journey ends with a win. It is bad news, but here we go. Oh, yeah. We brought the best bull riders to town, but we also brought some of the very best bulls in the world to town, too. It's not going to need be an easy weekend for any of them. But pay off that cowboy from Brazil, Sioux Falls. Don't let him leave here like that. No score for the first one out as you watch it back on that Bass Pro Shops replay. And no score there for Paulo. So from Brazil, let's, that clock gets a zero. It's an automatic no score. Don't need it. Whoa, here we go. Oh, look out, look out, look out. Oh, I don't like him limping away like that. But you see red flags on the ground because that bull hipped himself coming out of the bucket chute. That's why he's limping. Smashes his knee. So Luciano now is going to have himself a decision to make. Whether he's going to head to sports medicine or whether he's going to take a re-ride and get prepared for that one. Why don't you make him feel a little bit better, South Dakota? Make him feel a little bit better. Wow. Nothing good about that Bass Pro Shops replay, so we'll get word. A rematch called Mike's Magic, a bull that's bucked him off before, but tonight's going to be the night for Eli. Come on, Sioux Falls. Ooh, good work. Cody Webster doing his deal, and Eli. It's just kind of keep on coming for Bass Binder right now, down in 2.18. Check out this Bass Pro Shops replay here. Bass Binder in trouble, and take a look at that. No stunt man needed. Look, he'll do it himself. Look at Cody Webster flying through there, keeping that bull's attention. Great job. Great job. And unfortunately, Bass Binder starts his weekend unsuccessful. Sliding up on a bull called Blown Away. You bet, Nathan Harp. Whoop. Well, that Holy was dumb. Cow. Wait, what is going on? Well, you know, look, you, look, 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 it ain't, it ain't over till it's over. Watch this replay. Watch this replay. Look at Andrew Alvidrez could be a gold medal crawler. If fast crawling was an Olympic sport, Andrew Alvidrez would lead Team USA to the gold medal. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Strong arm. Seconds. That was wild. That was awesome. Low snacky. Looking at our first, first Premier Bank qualified ride. Bass Pro Shops replay. Look at this. How about 86 and a quarter points? <laughs> Here we go. 
Vitor now number one in Sioux Falls. Here it is. Ooh, get up, get up. That is a Whoa. lot of bull right there, Matt West. That's a lot of bull. Big time bulls here in round one as Mahan dispenses the Australian in 2.1. And you can see Callum a little slow to get back up out of that arena. Here's why. That is not where he had planned on making his dismount. So there's a look at Callum Miller. How about a little consolation pick me up if you don't mind, South Dakota? I'll tell you what. And it's time to let her buck. Let's go, Connor. You bet. You bet. Oh, the Nebraska Cowboy just turned in our second first Premier Bank qualified ride of the event. As you get ready to watch it back on the Bass Pro Shops replay, watch it round for round and turn for turn. And we not only got him a qualified ride, we're going to move him all the way to the top. 86 and a half. Fire Zone is the name of the bull for Martinez Bucking Bulls. And I bet he's never nodded his head to that song in his life. That is Ooh, it's only, kinda, he's hot too. That is only the second time we have seen that bull. And watch the way this bull leaves that buck and shoot. He, I mean, hard left hand turn. Leaves McFadden out to dry. Great job. Our bullfighters are lights out here tonight. Fantastic. So still just two qualified rides. So Rizzo sliding up. I tell you what, a guy that has beat Batter and Bruce coming into this night. Let's go, Marco. There you go. Yes, sir. That bull gave him the best shot right there when he went back the other way. But getting away is another story. Folks. I want to tell you the rest of the story. Marco Rizzo showed up here today. His leg, his knees the size of a basketball. It is black and blue. He can barely walk, but he knows he needs points to get to the world finals. He knows how big this weekend is, and now he knows his score is 85 and a half. And that puts up our third first Premier Bank qualified ride of this night. And puts him in the third place spot on the Poet leaderboard, too. <laughs> oh! Yeah! Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hey, Whoa. I can tell from way over here that not all of that is dirt. <laughs> And you are not walking back to the hotel with us tonight. Hey, when you're in the moment, you're in the moment. Hey. And when you're in the crap, Stop you're in the crap. About it. Stop <laughs> Call it what it is, Scott. It's crap, not a moment. Uh, he's a special invite this weekend for an opportunity to make some big cash. Let's go. Oh, come on, Jacoy. That is a no. First Premier Bank qualified ride. How about it for the Indian National Finals champion? Two weeks ago in Albuquerque at the Tamara Invitational, he got his first invite to the big leagues. He got some big rides there. And we're going to go to a review. What? So they're going to watch it back. They're going to make sure everything started right, make sure that he didn't touch this bullet any time throughout that ride. What do you guys think? 
That is a thumbs up qualified ride is what that is. That is a first Premier Bank, Premier Bank card qualified ride. And look at these numbers. 87 and a half and a new leader in South Dakota. Pass pro shop shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. Pacheco dived down in there and that bull punished him. World champion Jess Lockwood, a part of the ownership on that bull. And Pacheco talking it over with Cody Webster. So, folks, the Iceman not having a good night. Give it up for Kaiki Pacheco. That guy's a champ of the world. Tough luck in round one. So the quick start matchup goes the way of the bull on that one. Now to a 20 year old Brazilian. The guy that needs to make this weekend count. Get up, Brady! Hey, hey, hey. So we're gonna get ready to put another first Premier Bank qualified ride on the board. How about it for Brady Olson? Pass Pro Shop's gonna bring you that replay. And we're going to set Brady pretty good. About 85 points for the man from Blackfoot, Idaho. That'll move him to the top five in that poet leaderboard. Brady Olson slides into that number five position. There it is, poet leaderboard still. Includes the number seven ranked bull rider in the world, Alan DeSouza. Red Scorpion is the bull. Come on, South Dakota. Yep. Round and round and round they go. So the king of the North last year that got the crown would love to raise the Jerome Robinson Cup this May in Texas. As Alan DeSouza puts up another first Premier Bank qualified ride, Bass Pro Shop's going to bring you the replay. 82 and three quarter points for Alan DeSouza, 82 and three quarter. But listen, just getting a ride in this first round, that's an important deal. Look, I tried to say this earlier that this young man is having the best season of his young career. For this 21-year-old on the clock. Come on, Big Bob. Bobo! Bobo! And hanging on by the hair of his chinny chin chin. We got a first premier bank. Premier Bank card qualified ride. Gets a little wild at the end of this eight seconds. Bob Mitchell not going to be moving mountains with these scores. He's going to limp out of this arena, but he's going to limp out with a qualified ride and a score of 80 and a quarter points. Oh, good stuff, Bob Mitchell. Now, who's ready for 90 points? Come on! Castle's ready. Might just get it. Nope. Bulls got some. Bulls got some tricks right there. Don Castle. Whoa. Hey, you know what? We need to go ahead and say hello to a cowboy from the Show Me State of Missouri. The man on the back of that horse 
is our U.S. Border Patrol safety man. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Mr. Stu Crow. John Krimber, Bruce Ego, Sioux Falls, let's help him. Bull rocked him in the bucket shoot, rocked him right there. He's just 18 years old, everybody. He's the number two ranked bull rider in the world. So we will see how it all shakes out. We told you at the top of the show, Let's help him! Come on! Yeah! Oh. No way! Diaz makes a major hiccup on night number one, 6.26. As he is down too early for the number one ranked bull rider in the world. Folks, send Cassio Diaz out of here tonight with a round of applause. <laughs> so we will take a look. But tonight was all about one cowboy. He showed us what he was worth in Albuquerque, and he showed us what he's worth again tonight. The number one man here in Sioux Falls with 87 and a half. How about it for Jacoy Hale? First time we've got to do this. First of all, congratulations, a great ride. And in just a couple of weeks, you have put your name amongst the absolute best bull riders in the world. How do you feel right now? Um... No words right now, just a big blessing, and I'm glad to have this opportunity, and I'm glad it worked out. Well, it worked out in front of one of our absolute favorite crowds in the entire world. To be here in Sioux Falls, when you look out, you hear these people cheering for you. What are your thoughts? Do you have any words that you want to say to these people here in Sioux Falls? Uh, thank you for coming out. Thank you for being loud. You're a good crowd. They're amazing, and so are you. Congratulations, young man, because the winner of round one of the first Premier Bank PBR Sioux Falls, presented by Cooper Tires, round one belongs to Jacoy Hale. Oh, great job by the defending Indian National Finals champion by the name of Ninja Cowboy. And here we go. You bet. How about our first Premier Bank qualified ride? Smiles up there. Watch it back. The Fast Pro Shops replay. I mean, give you an up close and personal look at that ride. Judges get together. Let's start it off, set the pace with 85 and three quarter points. 85 and three quarter. Second generation bull rider right here. Watch him go. South Dakota, I see eight seconds on the board. The move that Court McFadden makes in the middle of this ride is outstanding. That's the first Premier Bank qualified ride. Right there, when that bull goes the other direction, matches he moves for move. 83 and a half points tonight for him, 83 and a half. Oh, De Castro. Mm. 
Full messing around in the bucket shoot did not help his mental capacity right there as Luciano De Castro now falls victim to a 0-2. Look, his right hand, you can see heavily taped up. I mean, he had it sewed shut. Just terrible, terrible pain. Swollen. And a bull called Diabolical. Oh, man. I mean, took a shot right there. You okay? Ooh. You okay? Cody Jesus took a huge shot right there. And just the fact, just the fact that he's walking out of this arena, folks, is a big deal. Give it up for Cody Jesus. Ooh. Our Sanford Health, our Sanford Health Sports Medicine team. Phenom Genetics, Sankey and Ready Team. Do it! does not help at all. Sanford Health Sports Medicine team quickly out there. To check on Marco. Folks, he is, he's gonna walk out of this arena. How about the toughness of that kid? I want you to watch this. Take a look at this Bass Pro Shops replay. Started a great ride, but cover the kid's eyes because it's about to get nasty. Watch this, boom. Right up in the air and he's hung to him. After all of that, he still, look at this. And take a look at those three bullfighters doing everything they can to get him out of there and as safely as possible. There's Marco. How about it, South Dakota? Man. Marco, is, he has taken a beating the last couple of weeks that he's been on before, that's fucked him off before. But watch out. Not today. Ryan Rogers says, look at me, South Dakota, look at me. So the Bulls bucked him off before, but not tonight. Another first Premier Bank qualified ride as you get ready to watch it back on the Bass Pro Shops replay. And folks, it's going to be a big one tonight. 88 and a quarter points for Rogers. Puts him to the top of the poet leaderboard. Just like that. Down to five. Whoa. Rorschach leaves an impression. Salgado's not going to forget that flight anytime soon. No, this one doesn't last long. Stuck into his hand, sitting down flat, back, heads up. No shot against a bull like that. Great work by all of our bullfighters once again, drawing that attention away from the down rider. Lucas Teodoro, Nathan Harp, Cody Webster, week in, week out. Not just those three, but everyone who fills that role. No cowboy would get on a bull if it were not for the bullfighters. Sage Kimsey, it's great to have him back, but you know he wants eight. Seven-time world champ shows why he's that as the blue suede shoes fit like a glove. Well, and that's the difference in a healthy Sage Kimsey, right? Because that ride was never no guarantee from jump to jump. Like, 
Like, that was a real fight. As we watch this back on the Can-Am cage cam, you're going to get to see what I'm talking about. Like, yep, looks perfect. Now he's going to get a little back. There's a lot of pressure on his hand on that elbow that he had to recover from. That's just a just a real heart <laughs> of a champion right there to finish that ride. Fired up for good reason. 87 and three quarters, second in the round, second in the event, and a second interview with Kate. You knew you were ready to be back, but to prove to yourself with a ride, what does that do for you? It feels really good. I mean, before I had the surgery, I struggled quite a bit, and uh, you know, having it fixed, coming back, wasn't the prettiest ride I've ever made, but uh, felt really good because there was a lot of effort into it, and it's uh, you know just all the hard work paying off. So it felt good. Well done. Thank you. Craig. Mac, I know you're smiling up here in the booth. America doesn't know it because we don't have a camera on you, but Sage's words wasn't the prettiest ride, but guess what? He got it done. That's bull ride. It doesn't have to be pretty. You just have to get the job done, and Kimsey's been doing that really well for a long time. Keep finding their shoulders. Look at those bullfighters again, just collapse with that triangle of protection as Hevelo is able to get away. Clearly, he's going to be a tad miffed with that buck off. Yeah, probably feels a little behind around the corner, really throws a big move, puts a lot of pressure on his hand. It pops out of the rope. Then, as you say, the bullfighters just chew one up. 23 different career wins, and there goes the Iceman. <laughs> Against Cash is King, Kaiki able to cash in. Another ride and rider that fought for it. Yeah, that was a lot of fight. You see Bo Davis, shoot boss there, talking to Pacheco. Probably going to be offering him a re-ride because this bull kind of sells out last half of the ride. Still difficult to stay on. Pacheco did a great job getting the whistle, but they're going to give him another shot. We'll see, see what his health looks like here. Kind of a rough, rough dismount. 76 and three quarters is what he's awarded. He's been told the bull. We're not sure right now, but you, we can see the wincing, and the thumbs up means he will get on another one. Yeah, Pacheco is not a past world champion from laying up. No. So Kaiki to the salute from this Denny Sanford Premier Center crowd knows he has another one to go. Seems like just a few weeks ago, right, during that win in Albuquerque, we were talking about this. Well, here we are. He sent flying as total air is in total control. You know, Eduardo had been having such a really good season because he's avoided these big slumps, right? Like, he's avoided getting his head picked up. Watch this one back here, and you watch around this corner. Eduardo's not in bad shape right here. Up forward, now he kind of misses it, and you watch where his head go. Automatically off to the right. No clue where the bull's at. Eduardo's going right, bull's going left. Yeah, as you pointed that out, it was round one last week in Nampa where he got a qualified ride, but I feel like we spent all last weekend talking about how something changed, right? right? And it's been that way so far this weekend. As we look at world number four. <laughs> Mr. Nightlinger says nighty night to Dalton. That one over way too early. Well, and, and you see Castle grabbing at his wrist and his riding hand there. All of these guys are going through something as far as bumps and bruises and soreness and riding with different injuries at this point in the season. We'll update you on Dalton's condition as best we can, but as you noted, Mac, he is not feeling 100%. <laughs> you can take the five hey, off of it. Look at his past two weeks.
cookies and cream taste so, so sweet for Kaiki. That is why you take re-rides, says my partner. Really, really, really a nice job right here but by Kaiki. You watch every time this bull comes up in the front end, you'll watch Ka Kaiki's butt come up off of his back. You get to see that daylight every round, every time. That is total control right there. Judges loved it. 88 points, moving Kaiki all the way up to second overall, and his tear through the past month continues. Remember in Little Rock, we were talking about what's wrong with him. He bucked off nine in a row. People were wondering where was the real Kaiki, and since then, he has definitely shown up. For rookie season, right? He's in the chase for a world title, but he struggled going to the right. Loses his grip, rope's gone, can't stay on a bull that way, as it wasn't to the right with conviction, but it was to the right enough, and it ends up a zero. Yeah, and, and he's just staying a little bit back. Like, and you can do that if you're left-handed like John is, bull's going to the left, you can get away with being a little bit back. But this one's just jumping and kicking straight, right? Like up and down, so you cannot get away with it in that scenario. Well, high class goes to the head of the class. I think John's trying to hit the challenge button, but he just broke it. <laughs> he's probably going to feel so bad. He's going to be like, I didn't do it. Yep. Well, so now it looks like he's going to see whether or not he can still take a look at that. <laughs> What's at stake here is, of course, big time, right? If he gets rewarded with a re-ride bull, the re-ride pen for our new fans is always set up for success. I think the in-arena announcers are teasing him at the moment <laughs> that, he, that he may have uh, broken that challenge button for everybody. I mean, think about how many other riders by now would have popped their hand out and just gotten out of the shoot. Quite simply, that is why he is our world number one. He did not back down in the shoot. He did not back down once the gate swung open. And now, after another successful eight, he salutes another crowd. Look, I hear a lot of guys say they want to win a world championship. I watched that guy do the things that it takes to win a world championship. He's tough in the shoot, and then he's tough when the gate opens. This score may not win him in the round, but it may ultimately win him the event. Great I mean, job. Yeah, this is just... Casio Diaz in an eight second encapsulated showcase. We're still waiting on this shore, score, excuse me, but Diaz has every right to salute anyone that looks his way. We haven't seen the clock. Whoa, and there it is. Yeah, down to 10 seconds. He needs to not. Marco Rizzo will get a score. He becomes the first man this weekend to have two qualified rides. Really good job, too. You can, you can see this, this kid is sore and banged up, but that feels great. I love this. Right around the corner, looks like it's going to pull him down, be too top heavy. Just sticks his old chest out, gets a little stronger, gets a little tougher. Great job. You know what helps? Dull the pain, 87 points. And this crowd just saw a lead change. Absolutely, got two good ones down. And you've already touched on it at the very beginning of the show. This thing is wide open. <laughs> yeah. So Rizzo's gonna be in great shape. There's been some interesting ones yeah. that's just said. Ooh, 
At the very end, Castro decides to headbutt, hang him high, and that is never recommended. Hang him high, comes back, has a, has a really good day right there. I thought, thought Castro, you can hear the challenge button going off in the background. Somebody pushed it here to see if this bull fouls himself. Ooh. It's close. Yeah, there right? was some like, contact. And I'm not saying the foul was close. Like, I think the foul happened. Was Castro coming off already, or did the foul cause that? We're going to we're gonna get to find out together. Well, Donald Owens this weekend is the replay judge, and he will now work through the replay center, as always, and decide. Man, that is close. Yeah. I feel like he's coming off before the foul happens. And again, these replay judges, they, they are different every weekend. It's a lot like an umpire in baseball. They each have kind of their own interpretation of the rules. But does he still have a hold? Whoop. Did he Had he touched him yet, disqualified himself in any way? Donald Owen says. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. So that means no rewrite attempt as he tries to sort out his positioning atop Badlands. Well, against Badlands, DeSosa able to make something good come out of it. And for a while there, it looked like Badlands was looking for the interstate. Yeah. But he finally got into that right-handed turn. Yeah, it started off pretty weak, which is, which is unusual. Usually a bull will start off strong and get weak. This bull started off a little weak and then got strong as the ride progressed, just kind of trying to find his footing there. Hey, but look, back to the general point I think we're both making. It's another qualified ride. It's qualified not worth ride, a lot, yeah. but he now has two down as He's well. He's going to be in the championship oh. round and give himself a shot. You yeah, know? without question. He just moved to second overall in the event, and other than Marco Rizzo, everybody else is a full bull behind. How about the bullfighters once again, right, and making sure Allen was safe? Yeah, the only thing they could have done more was catch him and gently set him on the ground because <laughs> <laughs> those guys just, they do it all, man. And there you see it, Allen DeSosa number two on the most qualified rides this season and you you see that it's too far down to the side or whatever you just redo it real quickly by the way that's marco rizzo the leader right there oh boy nope never gonna happen as you leave the shoots like that as john crimber is definitely frustrated he gets blank this weekend and that means our world number one casio diaz has an opportunity to move further ahead. Yeah, and this has kind of become what this bull is like these days. Opposed to the video we've seen from Outlaw a season ago where he's around to the left, now he's to the right, puts up big scores, 44 and a half there. Great little bull. Of course, not the weekend he wanted, but how you bounce back matters just as much in this world title race. So what's your biggest takeaway? Because Billings, another three-day weekend coming up. Oh, you know, uh, these three-day weekends, they've been kind of rough on us, but uh, I like getting on bulls. And uh, I read a quote the other day. It says, what defines us how we, well we rise after failing. So uh, I'm going to take this week, uh, prepare myself a little bit more, and uh, go out there at Billings and uh, give my best. Appreciate the time. Good luck next weekend. Thank you. Craig. Kate, thank you for that. Mac, remember when he won in Jacksonville? He told Kate he just had told himself he was sick of facing and finishing second. Well, now he's got a new mantra, right, to perhaps build on in Billings. Is yeah, Salgado, right, hoping that... Well, here we, here we are. On your way to being right again, my friend. Salgado, how do you said turn the tide because Shivers turned on a dime right after he left the shoots. And all of a sudden, last week's winner has become very relevant this week as well. 87. That's Tiagi's bread and butter right there. A good little bull stays close, stays tight, under himself, around to the left. Is that your nickname on the fly, or does he go by that, Tiagi? Tiagi, ah, that's, what, that's what a lot of the guys just call him. When he becomes a little more seasoned, does, does he become Mr. Tiagi? Yes. Like Mr. Miyagi? Yes. All right. But not yet. Not yet. He's still got to get a little <laughs> older before he's that. Well, he likes it. Just don't punch yourself in the face so much, Tiago. It'll be okay as he looks headed to the championship round. Woo! 
As that began, low snacky, not snappy enough. Couldn't keep up. Eventually comes over that front end with the touch. And the clock says 2.67. Yeah, in, in a bull with, with Wosnacki being left-handed, bull going to the right, when he brings his free arm back across in front of his body, that, that turns your shoulders and it actually drives your right hip further to the inside of the spin. Now, there's been guys in the past, Ty Murray, Chris Shivers, Cody Hart, these legendary bull riders that could do that, but they always finished it back square. World number one is about to go, facing a bull by the name of Blown Away. For more on that matchup, let's set it down to Kate. And five-year-old Blown Away is owned by 13-year-old Addie Drury and nothing but Tri Ranch. And Addie here watching on the back of the shoots, and she told me Blown Away has really been a pet since the day he was born. He would come up to me as a calf, eat out of my hand, loves getting scratches. And guys, she said any day of the week, I could just jump on his back and pet on him, sit on him, take phone calls on him. I showed Cassio these videos and he said, as soon as I hear the whistle, I'll go ahead and pull my phone out and take a phone call too. But all jokes aside, he told me, but it is a rematch. Krimler thinks he wins around 91. John Cripper might have a career in the booth after he's done writing because Cassio Diaz, no doubt about that one. Will this crowd be blown away? Great ride from Cassio, but don't bring Cripper to the booth. <laughs> Let him judge. <laughs> okay, we'll start him off as a judge. I'm definitely not trying to kick you out of here, my friend, but that is a second score for Cassio, and that's going to move into second overall. Yeah, but my point was this. I'd love to have John in the booth with us, but 87, Crimper had him at 91. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, there you go. Fair Good ride from Diaz. Yeah, absolutely. There's Addy cheering on her prize possession, and with good reason. Such a great story. Kate was showing us video earlier of just exactly how calm, cool, and collected Blown Away can be in the shoots. Before he left the shoots, we were talking about a great story in terms of Cassio and uh, Ali, Addy Drury and the bull blown away. For more, let's send it back down to Kate. A lot of us have dogs, cats at home that are our favorite pets. That's blown away for you. What do you make of seeing what is your baby in the world number one getting it done? I'm just so happy that they fi Cassio finally got to ride him, and um, it just makes me so happy that uh, he's at this level. So is it typical for you to go out, give him scratches every day, and just take your phone calls as you ride him? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Thank you for the time, and uh, well done. You've blown away. Thank you, Craig. I don't know, Mac, after seeing that video, I might want to call Addy. That might be the only get on a bull experience I'm willing to actually try. Dalton Castle, another rider that anytime he goes. Jesus was on his way for truly five seconds. It looked like it was going to be one of those upper 80s scores, but then it falls apart. Hey, Zeus starts a phenomenal ride here, but I want to highlight the bullfighters in this replay, Hummer, because this was a spectacular save. Hey, Zeus, anytime you're giving it everything that you've got like he is here, there's a chance where you're going to land in a compromising freeze it right there. Look, I mean, yeah, this is Nathan Harp just coming in and saying, you know what? I'm going to shoot this gap right here because I trust my help coming in from either side with Webster and Lucas right there. Fantastic job by the Bullfighters. And yeah, you see the aftermath, look at that. Follows Nathan, and as you said, that tri-team that they work off of. Nathan Harp, Cody Webster, Lucas Teodoro this weekend, there's Nathan right there. What, and they do it, right? No, oh, yeah, that's, that's just one times. time that we highlighted yeah. out of about 150 20. outs, 120 outs yeah. that these guys are gonna uh, protect every weekend, for yeah. every weekend. Every single weekend. 14 straight buck offs. The count goes up to 15. Another opportunity to showcase, but in a different manner, how the bull, bullfighters collapsed to protect the rider. Yeah, that triangle just converges. 
And look out, they're laughing. They're laughing <laughs> like they're having a great time doing it. <laughs> That's because they are. I, they I love their it. job. I know it, man, but there it is again. Just They just smothered the situation and I, get Ed out of there safe. You know, look, I'll speak for the both of us, but mainly just for me. I would like to think I'd find a way to rise up the, to the challenge, but I think I'd pull a Cindy Brady, freeze in the headlights. Yeah, yeah, I would. And I, I, You've got to describe this stuff because the words that come to my mind to use to describe what I would be feeling and doing, I cannot use. You mean we'd have the bleep? Yeah. The, the, the audible the bleep would one. be constant for a few minutes. Fair enough for Halverson. This will be a real step up, but he has, he can convert. Ooh. Instead, strong arm shows him the door. Wow. Oh, that was rough. Tough kid. You watch leaving out of here, gonna be behind right there. When your body is back and the kick comes, that's where you end up on top of their head. So even though it's a buck off, that 86 and a half still has him in the top 10. And Connor hopefully will have everything sorted out before he needs to go up on the shark cage and make his championship round pick. But yet another rider having to converse with sports medicine. Jesse Petri with his opportunity. It comes compliments of magic moves. You're scoring hundreds right. of points. Oh, boom! Not once, but twice. Bang, bang, out go the lights. But somehow Petri is up and walking. Oops. Well, that went way differently than what Petri and I had both envisioned. That's for sure. I don't know, right? There's the first hit, then there's the second one. I think the Holy second one was a moly. Had a little more pop on it than the first one. Well, there was some momentum behind that second one. I, I don't mean to quibble, but yeah, you're the expert, but they both had some pop to the average human. Yeah. Petri really doesn't look much no. the worse for wear, does he? Smiling. Which is kind of astounding on multiple levels. Meanwhile, if you're just joining us, a lot of shifting of the sands due to injury before we just went to break. We've got three big names out of the championship round. No question, the three, Marco Rizzo, Cassio Diaz, and Alan DeSosa, they'll have the best picks in the draft, but 2018 PBR World Champ, Kaiki Pacheco out, Connor Halverson out, Mauricio Moreda out, and even Bob Mitchell out before the round began. So what would have been a championship round of 12 now will be a championship round of 11. And look, this is going to see a lot of tough bulls in this championship round, and it's going to start with this one. Snake Eyes continues his tear through the Cowboy ranks. Now running his five of the last six buck offs have been under three seconds. Yeah, and not an overly big bull, but he bucks big. Got it just enough forward movement. You see that front end come way up in the air and then drop and follow it up with a lot of kick. Difficult bull for these guys to get by. McFadden, another very solid result. He has got the ability to really show out on a bull like this. Brady Fielder. Just walked up to the pay window and made a big withdrawal. Eight seconds of excellence aboard Big Bank. And there is a very good chance we're going to see a lead change. He needs 88 and three quarters, and he gets 89. Yeah, this is a great job by Brady. And this is what I'm talking about with this guy. I mean, he can really ride and can ride all kinds of bulls. Like, most of the guys, look, he was the 10th pick in the draft and got the bull he wanted. That just shows you not very many guys like that bull right there. He's at the bottom of the list. Fielder has that ability to ride those kinds. Hey, guess what? Fielder went through like to love in terms yeah. of that bull. Let's send it down to Kate.
you walked into the building today scoreless. Now you're leading the entire event. How do you stay composed and give yourself a shot on the championship Sunday type of days? Uh, just let go of the past and focus on the future, I suppose. And, um, just do I do my job and it work out all right. Got to get out of the shoe first. Oh. Yeah, well, Cool Whip rises to the top yet again. Here comes the stat. That is now the 61st consecutive out for that bull. How many times have they stayed on him? A total once in his career. It's a pretty darn good record. And here just kind of looks to the left. Well, Snacky kind of moves over there and he says, eh. Job by the bullfighters once again. What did he say again when he when he just went over there? Oh, yeah, like, if you're gonna go over there, I'll just go over here. All right. So for clarification purposes, you change their to a I speak bull. I get you, Tiago Salgado. So do you most of the time. Let me just tell you. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. Very wise. Standing great. A ride, and he's our new leader. De Sosa will head to the mountaintop, at least for the moment. His third score of the weekend is enough to move him a full bull ahead. Well, in the words of the A-team, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> <laughs> that, that I was, love that show. That was... That was a plan that came together right there for Allen. He's seen him move him to the other delivery. And these scores, look, I, I, in round in the long round today, I thought that Cassio should have been more than he was, and I felt like Allen should have been more than he just was. That was a really good ride on a great board. 88 and three quarters. Diaz against Ricky Vaughn. Ricky Vaughn just brought the heater, and our world number one just hit it out of the park. Let's have a collective cheer for Cassio, as we will not only have a new number one here, 90 and a half, but our world number one has really spread the distance between himself and his closest challengers. Well, just a great job by Cassio Diaz, not just the ride, but the picket. Like, it amazes me when this bull is left past the first three guys. Like, it really does. And Cassio Diaz says, nope, I'm going to get my chance at him. I'm going to make good on it. Another fantastic 90-point ride for Diaz on the season. Another great bull falls by the wayside, and Cassio Diaz updating the season standings. He is now our world number one by almost 600 points ahead of John Crimber and Dalton Castle and over 650 points ahead of Eduardo Aparecido. Well, next Sunday, the Bulls buck into Billings, and you can join us live right here on CBS Sports Network at 4 p.m. Eastern. For Justin McBride, Kate Harrison, and our entire PBR crew, I'm Craig Hummer. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.